for a haunting good time this Halloween season, you might want to raise your spirits with Pure Paranormal. This morning, Craig Coffey is at the Lawn Cheney Theater inside the City Auditorium, searching for more on what your research might reveal. Hey, that's right. In one of the most haunted places inside the City Auditorium right now with us from Pure Paranormal. She does this for a living. This is Maysandra. Hello. Hello. Our ghost host. And uh, tell us now, a lot of stuff goes on inside this room. Right, well, throughout the ages, people have said that they've seen a black figure walking on the catwalks, not only in this theater, but in the catwalk above the stage in the main part of the auditorium well. In the, the main room, too, well. yeah, but just kind of floating around, right, yep. doing its thing? Just walking back and forth and looking do they, down. Do these spirits bother people? Uh, I have heard stories from the people who have done theater in this place that it kind of creeps them out. Okay. They also see but it doesn't bother Gentlemen in top hats sitting in the seats watching stuff, right? Yes, up there in the, they just uh, appear? In the seats. They just appear and just start watching oh, what's going on. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, you don't get scared doing this. No. Okay, can we talk to these uh, entities or can they talk to us, these spirits? Um, EVPs, right? Yes, electronic voice phenomena. Uh, what that is is that we use an audio recorder that captures disembodied voices of you know, those who have passed on, okay. or so that's the theory, but we do get answers from people that weren't there, and uh, it's, it's, it's really, it's an incredible phenomenon. But how does that work? They're talking about it being a transfer of energy, okay. um, or it's them actually speaking, but we just can't hear them, but the audio uh, equipment picks it up. Okay. Oh, wow, that's exciting. You enjoy doing this, don't you? I love it. I want to ask you uh, one thing. A, a lot of people use these. It's a pretty big thing out there. Ouija boards. Uh, what do you say to Ouija boards? I say just say no. Are they real at all? You know, why in the world would you do something like that and actually invite something in when we're going out and actually speaking to things that they're yeah. already there? We're always very respectful. We make sure that, you know, we're taking with care and diligence, but it's almost like an Ouija board is almost like forcing them to do it. And What's just, a bad experience or bad story you've heard about using a Ouija board? Uh, people have actually had things been invited into their homes because of it. And they don't We've leave, actually right? done cases. And they don't leave. Uh -huh. It's like a drunk neighbor on the 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> it just won't leave, and they're still walking around the house. <laughs> okay, I had, to, I had to lighten it up. I was getting kind of scared. No. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. Okay, Ghoul thank School, you. Ghoul School University, and, of course, the tour here at the City Auditorium. On the 21st. Happy early Halloween to you. Happy early Halloween to you, too. This is your time of the year. Indeed. That's it for now. Back to you. Come if you dare. Well, to encounter actual ghost hunting experiences with Pure Paranormal, you can explore a ghost tour at the City Auditorium, Trout, an overnight ghoul school or weekend-long ghoul school university. And for all the details, if you dare, you can log on to pureparanormal.com or dial this number. It's 487-4403.